Welcome back to another Alliance War video. We have four Loki versus Legion. They banned Hulk, Spider-99, and Titania. Uh, Ghost and Kingpin are uh, globally banned, and uh, Nimrod and Idoom are uh, whitelisted. So for this war, um, we are taking in a uh, different team. I don't have any global um, nodes that I'm facing, so I won't be uh, taking any global attackers to uh, counter that, but I do have Sunspot. Um, White Magneto and Omega Sentinel and I will be using all of them today. So um, I haven't used Wags in a while and I'm a uh, I'm pretty big on Wags. I, I think he can do a lot on the map last season uh, Not so much. I I think he still could have taken some some uh, fights, but the uh, the attacker tactic was just too strong um, So looking at my path, I have this uh, APOC on path uh, six Um then I have this Scorpion that I was going to take with Omega Sentinel, but I decided to uh, use Wags for him because he is metal and uh, I can get some more uh, persistent charges for pre-fights later on. Uh, Atuma, I will be taking with uh, Sunspot, um, so I can use my Wags pre-fight there. And I have Kitty again on Path 6. I'll be using Omega Sentinel and uh, that Domino again that I did last war. And that is my uh, in, uh, entire war. Now, um, just, uh, you know, I, I decided to, to, to join right here to burn some energy. Um, I, I still select decay, even though I don't have any because I'm paranoid. And in case I accidentally brought a decay attacker and uh, we accidentally may need them, I just select it. But anyways, I'm just looking at the map here. And you can see that there's a Mysterio boss placed. A uh, different BG had one in... Uh, in the first war and we use quicksilver for it it went well this quicksilver has 715,000 uh hp we will be using somebody else because we don't want to take as long as quicksilver that's the result of that fight i did not take that fight um <coughs> my boy andrew did and i will post a uh, link in the description once he posts his video so you guys can check that out it was a 33 second takedown it uh it was pretty epic um anyways Looking at my first fight, looking at this APOC, he has um, spiked armor and de combat deja vu, right? So for Omega Sentinel, you want to have her armor ups. But if I'm alternating my combo to not build any prowess, then I'm not going to get my armor ups. So I decided to hit into his block to build my armors because it makes her extremely tanky. So I'm going to dex at first and then just hit a medium and then some lights into, uh, into him. And I just want to do this at first, just to, to gain some uh, some armors, like I said. Uh, I just don't want to get cornered. I don't want to eat a heavy and get a bleed on me, even though I will not take any damage from it. Because then if he throws a special, he'll activate all of his uh, debuffs. So here I'm at 8. I'm like, okay, I'm going to throw that cowardice in case he throws a special one. Um, and, um, and he does, right? So I want to take less damage from it, basically, because he does have two prowess on it. And at this point... Um, I use a power start one um, to get to my special three because that's where my the bulk of my damage is going to be. Um, that special three um, animation. And right here I just put a, a heal block and then I'm heavying. And I'm just uh, alternating my uh, my combo as best as possible to uh, limit his, uh, his prowess from the node. So um, at this point I'm like, okay, throw my special three. He's at, you know, about 60%. Um, you know, before the uh, SP3 animation finishes, and the uh, plasmas, not incinerates because he's mutant, the plasmas are going to do um, quite a bit of damage. You see, it's ticking for about 35, 3.5k uh, a tick, and uh, he throws this special. I'm just going to take it on the block. You see how tanky she is? All of those were under 200 uh, in damage, so that went rather smoothly. I didn't have to play it exactly like that. She still would have survived if I didn't have all those armors, but. Obviously, um, I'm trying to be as safe and strategic as possible. So for this fight, um, I did throw on uh, Mutant Boost, uh, just 150% because when I was looking at the map, I didn't need Tech Boost and I was like, well, I'll use 150%. I didn't use any last war, so I'll go ahead and do that. And um, I'm still running my Power Start 1 because I finished that last fight rather quickly. So I want to wait till Magnetism is on. I have Max uh, Pacify, I'm sorry, Petrify uh, on and Pacify. So I'm limiting his power um, while I'm hitting him during the stun. And I'm also limiting his power combat power rate per White Magneto's ability. 
I throw the um, the uh, special two to, to get some power back, and then I throw that D gen. I can dex this a special one, but not in war. I'm just gonna play it safe. My 70% um, ability action reduction limited the chance of any um, poisons uh, landing on me. And uh, he throws another one here, but unfortunately, I get two poisons. So I'm like, okay, I don't want to take any da sting damage, even though I am um, at an SP2. So at this point, a heavy to get my last third big prowess off of the uh, off the heavy, and I'm just waiting out the poisons. I do a short combo into a special uh, special two, and then I'm just trying to build up to my special uh, two again. I'm not worried about doing the armor break into the special two because I really just want to push into a um, a special two so he can uh, throw that and when he gets close to the end here I'm just doing a short combo because I'm gonna do a combo into a special one to kill him But he dies before um, he, he even um, Let's me throw it off <coughs> So that went smooth <coughs> I'm, I'm like super sick. I've been sick for a few days, so I apologize um, But next I have this Atuma I place a white magneto pre-fight here so I can parry and I have sunspot So the plan is just to nuke I'm, uh, I'm still running those uh, mutant boosts just because not really needed for this fight. All I'm going to do is parry, throw a combo, then parry heavy um, into an SB1 a few times, and throw my special 2 uh, to kill him. You see that uh, this uh, you know boosted rank 2 sunspot just you know absolutely uh, is going to melt um, this uh, Atuma. So um, at this point I'm going to parry into my special 1, heavy into my special 1. Now I have two of those um, flare charges, and at this point I'm looking at his damage and I'm like, should I do a third? And I'm like, um, no, this special two is going to kill, but he throws a special, his special two, and I'm like, alright, that's fine, I'm going to take it on the block because ultimately I don't need sunspot for anything else. And he kills him with the special two. Uh, easy breezy fight, nothing to worry about there. So next up we have this kitty. Now last season I died to kitty. Um, in the first war, uh, <coughs> she gained a bar of power as I was coming at her because the node, the global fed her power. And uh, last war I fought her, I wouldn't say scared, but Drew said scared. Uh, but it was on my mind that I didn't want to die to Kitty. And now I have the same fight with her. Um, and I'm not worried, but you'll see that it's just something like the game, like the, the game wants me to die to Kitty. Um, basically, it's because um, you know, there'll be a lag spike, and uh, ultimately, uh, right there, I, uh, I end up eating a heavy. Um, so, it, it is what it is. It's better than a special, I guess. And I'm like, I'm not taking that on the block. Um, that special on the block. But here, I'm like, okay. I just get back to what I was doing. I'm allowed now cowardice, and, and it doesn't remove that, uh, that node prowess, but... I throw the special two just to get those uh, plasmas on her to basically, um, uh, you know, kill her because I just, again, don't want to die to Kitty for the second season in a row. But now we have Domino. I took this fight last war and uh, unfortunately because of that lag and that heavy I ate, I do have to heal a little Omega Sentinel. So I'll use some potions. I was hoping to go potion free because uh, I'm low on loyalty. Due to that stupid loyalty, you know, offer that Kabam had that made us kind of <coughs> want to get those offers and stuff. So I'm under like 400k. I, I have nev not been this low for a while. So now we have uh, Domino and last war I got really risky and I was really, you know, hitting her with her lucky up and I don't want to do that this war. But, uh, you know, I have the heal block on so in case I... Um, I land any debuffs, I can heal block her and she's not healing, healing with will willpower. Um, that's the only reason I really switched to that mode. Um, but here I'm just watching her um, her lucky backing away so I can uh, I can parry and just not doing anything brisky. You know, I can I can dex for medium and encounter, but it's just not needed. Not for this fight, especially when you can just parry. So at this point I'm like, okay. Just um just have her, you know, throw her special two, and then go in for a, a combo. And I'm like, all right, this is going smooth. Nothing really to worry about. She hasn't really gone lucky a whole lot, um, but of course, um, you know, she's gonna go lucky sooner or later. That's what I'm thinking. So <coughs> I'm just playing it safe here, and uh, I'm just trying to get her to throw the special two, 
so I can go in and uh, and kill her. And of course she goes lucky there when I want to go for the kill shot, so I'm like, all right, just wait it out. Um, she fails my parry there, or that was actually uh, medium I couldn't parry, but either way, she goes down. Um, so you know, easy breezy, and my war is now over. Unfortunately, we did lose this war. Shout out to Andrew, Cry Mike, and Mad Cat for being the MVPs. And hopefully we get back on the winning side of things next war. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. And check out Andrew's uh, video of that boss fight. Bye.